What's up peeps? Welcome back to another episode of Road to the Stage. This is episode 3 now and today what I have planned is a grocery shop. So you're going to see what your boy is eating to get bloody huge. So we're sipping away on a can of monster and we're going to head on into Kilkenny, into Dunn stores and I'm going to take you along with me. But first, wish, wish. Let's go! Boom! Life's a competition, so if I'm going to play, then I'm gonna play to win it. I refuse to sit and rot at a desk all day unless I have a passion I'm working towards, okay? I'd rather be dead on the outside than inside. A bullet to the head than 25 to life in a cubicle alone, just trying to get by, building someone else's dream instead of building mine. Okay, while we're stuck in traffic, I'll take this time and use it wisely, and we'll talk about what the plan is for this year for in regards to my shows. So I was talking to Vinny there the other day, and he told me there's a show on the 8th of October and there's a show on the 22nd of October. So they're the two we're going to be hitting. Now, the first show, there will be no weight cap. So I could be up against people way bigger than me, you know, way more experienced than me. But I love a challenge and I'm not going to make it easy for them. That's for damn sure. And the second show will be, there is a weight category. So, you know, we'll be entering in the under 80 kg category where I 100% plan on winning. Whoop, oh Lord, the traffic is moving, it's moving. Slowly but surely. So, yeah, that's the goal. I obviously plan on winning both, but, you know, I plan on coming in peel to the bone to give me an absolute shot at that first show where there is no wake cap. So yeah, I'm excited now. It's a good long road ahead of me now, peeps, where we have a lot of work to do. Like, I could be in prep for over 24 weeks, so yeah, it's all a lot, a lot of work, but I'm really looking forward to it. And what we're gonna show you here today is some of the foods that your boy is eating to win these trophies. I'm a little bit nervous for today's video, my peeps, because like, you never know how they're gonna react in Dunn stores when you walking around with a camera, but like, it's not something they see every day, I suppose. But I'm just gonna make out um, I'm a celebrity and Ryan is the my very own paparazzi oh following me around the place and I can't get rid of him. That's exactly what I'm gonna say, actually. I'm like, I don't know who he is. He just keeps following me around. <laughs> so that's the goal, anyway. We got the shopping bags out. The Kenny colors. Yes, Kenny all the way. Show them, Brian, where we are. The infamous Dunn stores. Um, Ryan is actually nervous here as well. Obviously, he's the one walking around with the camera. Uh, I tell you why I come to Dunn stores because, right? I got. I'll show you now. I got vouchers, right? I steal my mother's vouchers every single week, and I get 15 euro off my shopping. So. That's what I do every week. Gets it a little bit cheaper because it's bloody costly being a bodybuilder, my peeps. And, you know, you see the price of chicken these days. I get the chicken in the butchers though, so we won't get that in here today. We get the old mince in here though. But you'll see everything else that I get besides the chicken. So, let me get this trolley. I'm the worst for losing stuff. Look at the shit pockets. So, Hopefully we don't lose the funds, or we won't be buying anything. Yep, there she blows. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Nervous much. <laughs> yes. And we are ready. Oh yeah, and today, today is actually a rest day for me, so we got no training footage. It's literally just me doing the grocery shop. So, we are on our way. These are savages. You see, I'm putting my oats every morning. That's what we're starting off, we're getting the fruit first, right? 
we got the blueberries and then we got apples pink lady is my go-to better than the granny smith and i like to do i like to have an apple in the in the evening because you know when you get that sweet too kills that craving and it's very satisfying like at night time so i always use that as my little hack uh, to save me going for anything that i shouldn't be eating these are bananas that i use 179 by so they're a little bit small but they'll do and i throw these into my shake in the morning so when i have my oats when i eat it out of a bowl i use blueberries but when i'm drinking out of a shake i use banana you know just one of them things i like to mix up the fruit and uh, keep it interesting, you know, because bodybuilding is so interesting and all that. <laughs> this is where it's at. Okay, right, so what I've been doing for my cheat meal lately is once a week I do have my pizza and chicken wings. So here's the chicken wings I use. Hot and spicy. Right? They're not even that spicy, so I don't even know why they're called hot and spicy, because <laughs> I feel zero spices zero hotness so that's why i probably like them a lot because i don't like real hot food you know and i want the mints i get i get the five percent lean mints now you don't want that fatty shit so here's what we got Tony. be cheap so what i get one two three and four so that does mean for the week uh, not too bad. I have that with my rice. It's nice and cheap. While we're here, I see the bagels. Now, this is not in. The bagels are not actually in my plan, so Vinny, hopefully, he's not watching this. Well, sometimes, like if I'm running low on my calories slap in a bagel with my meal. These bad boys. These are the best. For sure. I've, I've tried the cinnamon raisin ones before and I thought they were stink. I know a lot of people like them but hell no. It's just like we're basic bitches here right? So we get one, two. They're not on sale today unfortunately so we're stuck with the two. <laughs> Usually you get two, two bags for three euro and there's only one bag for two euro. So, you yeah, see like, Steve all loves his discounts and he's always looking for the best bargain. <laughs> As I said, this bodybuilding is costly. So, we want to find the cheap bargains. Here we have some Dormio. Dormio. Alright, I like the spicy one. Spicy chilli. This is what I use sometimes on my, this is what I use on my mints. You know, with my rice, I just put a little bit on that to kind of wetten it up. Because I don't really eat much ketchup anymore. But, this is savage, because your old mince and rice can get dry, you know. <laughs> Paparazzi, run, run, run. <laughs> uh, okay, right. Rice crispy bars. Yes. You love, love, love rice crispy bars, right? So this is what I eat post-workout. As you all know, you see me with the rice crispy bars. So... I always stock up on these bad boys. We got three of them. How should we go with four? That's seven euro on Rice Krispie bars alone. Like that, that's a bill, isn't it? That's a bill, isn't it? Okay, and now we are here at the favorite section, right? The rice. Okay, right, so what rice do I use? This is the one. Basmati. Right, and usually I, I get sticky jasmine rice, but they have none in stock, you know, and they're never any in stock in Carlo because Vinny Crane told me that he takes them all every morning, he goes up before anyone else can get them. <laughs> I, I used to do that here in the one in Kikenny, but yeah, they seem to be gone now. Sticky jasmine rice is the best because the highest calorie ones, especially when you're on a bulk, it's very easy to get down, it's all compact, you can just shovel it in. So. But anyway, we won't be needing that now when we start prep. We'll just stick with the basmati rice because there's more eating to it. The sauce I usually use is, is actually not here. Um, 
It's usually the Nando's Peri Peri sauce, right? It's a guilt free one. There's barely any calories in it. The lemon and herb one is the best, and the uh, garlic one. But they're, they're not here, and I'm absolutely raging, right? They're a small little bottle. So, the next best thing to that is, is this one. Okay, right? Cali Cali guilt free. This is savage, right? You see, I used to be just a ketchup person. I put ketchup on everything. And now, this like makes the chicken a lot more moist, is the word, a lot more wet. So it does a way better job than ketchup and there's barely any calories in it. So you can just destroy your chicken with it and destroy your rice with it. Uh, very good when you're dieting down, I know. But very good anytime actually, bulking or cutting. I think, believe it or not my peeps, this is the last time you're gonna see me buy my cheat meal. Actually, it's the only time you see me and the last time you're gonna see me. So. I'm sticking with the basics. We got the chicken wings. Now we're getting the pizza for the cheat meal. And again, I always go for whatever one is on sale. <laughs> but I still pick a good one. So, this is the one. Yep, 350. This is actually the one I got last night. Lord of cheese, baby. Look at that, fucker. 1600 calories in this, believe it or not. That's like some people's daily allowance. I'm slamming it down in one sitting. But, it's the last one. The last supper, as they say. But, I'm sure I'll have a cheat meal at some stage <clears throat> during prep, because I have 24 weeks of prep. You know, I'm sure Vinny's gonna be nice to me and be like, like last time, you know, halfway through, he's like, go have Eddie Rocket, Steven. So, maybe not though. Could be super strict. I don't want to win that trophies. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look what we were nearly forgetting. The gains. If you want to grow up to be big and strong, you gotta eat your vegetables. We, we were lied to all our lives as kids, weren't we? We were always told, like, eat your greens and you grow up to be big and strong. Who have you ever seen that's big and strong that only eats the vegetables? It's the, it's, it's this that does it. And all the hard work, sacrifice, dedication, not the shitty green beans. I tell you a good one, Ronnie Coleman, right? Eight time Mr. Olympia, never ate vegetables. And he's the biggest freak of nature known to man. And never did he eat vegetables. It's all there. You can put that in your pipe and smoke it. When, when we were recording, our trainer video last week, right? The video I posted to YouTube, you can hear you singing when I'm doing the hack squat. Smack that all on the floor, smack that. I can hear you singing in the background. <laughs> so, so, yes, I heard you, I caught you. Okay, peeps. This makes me very, very happy because as you all know, I'm an absolute stim junkie and I'm addicted to this. I don't know what they put in it, but they definitely put something in it to make you addicted to it. And I love when I see this, right? Two for nine euro. See, they trick you. For one box, 630, two for nine. So clearly you're gonna pick up the two for nine. And white is my go-to. My second favorite is probably, who? I'd probably go for this one, the mango one. Yeah, but you know, I've, I've become, I really like the rain ones now. And plus there's more caffeine and rain. So the sour apple and rain and the lemon one. Ooh so my number one goal, Monster, if you're watching this, I'm your boy. <laughs> and right away, I want to be sponsored by them too, and that's all I want. I've, I've met it then, I've met it in life. I say my prayers every night. I speak this shit into existence and law of attraction. Yeah, it's gonna happen. So this is my go-to, you know, I don't understand why a lot of people can't switch to the to the zero sugar one, it's like a mental block, like, they're like, no, I need the full sugar one, I'm like, why, this, the Pepsi Max tastes better than the real Pepsi, there's so many people telling me that, no, I need the real one, no, 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 these are, such a good deal, right? A euro. You can't go wrong, like. 
you know what's in it 1.5 kg so it lasts me about ooh, just a little bit over a week and only a euro so I don't see like why you would go spend 250 on a kg it's, it's, it makes no sense so Dunn's brand all the way <laughs> get them deals my favorite cereal of all time right which I haven't had for a long time um, is actually Nesquik yeah this is the go-to but from saving money purposes you would fly through that like the amount I have to eat post-workout so I just stick to I get the cocoa pops um, it's nice and easy to digest it so 5.95 here we go that lasts me about a week we got the Cocoa Pops, we got the Rice Krispie Bars, so they're the post-workout. Okay. And now, because it's my last she, next weekend, I want some sweeties. You gotta get the sweeties. <laughs> so, what are we gonna get this time? So, I like to get some sort of chocolate, and then sugary sweets for after the pizza and chicken wings. We gotta get the dairy milk. That's probably my favorite bar of all time. And again, we got discount two euro. <laughs> oh, I don't know what sour than sweet. Sour than sweet. Okay. We got the, the mixture. And that's our sugary stuff. For, yeah. Okay. We are nearly there. On the home stretch. What do we have here? What do we have here, right? <laughs> we got some Jorex, some Luby Luby, some Luby. Oh, look at that one. Huh. Huh? Okay, Keep, it. <laughs> Keep it PG. We don't. We don't need that. We only. We only lift weights. We only body for it. Ha! Hey Ryan. We got something for you. Jeez. We got some of these for you. Some large pads. Yeah? I don't know what you call them. Honey pads. <laughs> <laughs> some nappies, that's what they are. Nappies. Okay, we're just queuing up now to pay for it and I'm not gonna record us putting it up on the belt and all that because there's so many people around and I probably feel uncomfortable so we'll just get it up, get a ped for and then I'll check in with you when I get out. So peace. Okay we are back in the car ready to go home after our weekly shop. So the total cost was 79 euro and five cent and with the vouchers it came down to what 65 or that so it wasn't too bad for you know you saw what I got the vouchers are a lifesaver so I got a 10 euro voucher back to give back to me mommy and yeah that was our shop and you know I usually do my shop on a Monday but because I wanted to make the video we said we'd hop in on a Sunday and hope there wasn't that many people so it wasn't too bad uh, it was still a bit awkward you know talking to the camera and people looking at me but you know we did it and I hope you enjoyed this episode trade of the grocery shop road to this stage I look forward to the next one my peeps so stay tuned and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one so peace out Cub Scouts <laughs>